fever is a rise in the normal body temperature and particularly a feature of infections. A variety of infections can cause fever. The commonest cause of fever is some infection. Now there are a variety of infections, for example, there are plenty of viruses and there are many bacteria and there are many other organisms which can cause an infection in the body. Most of these are associated with fever. Fever is usually a reaction to a foreign body in our body. For example, if the child is contracted with even a common cold virus, the child could have a fever because that is the way the body is trying to get reacted or trying to get rid of this virus by developing a fever. So sometimes fever is a good sign, but it needs treating to keep the child comfortable. Fever usually presents with uh, the child becoming unwell, tired, weak and warm to touch. The earlier sign of fever is best supported by giving some antipyretic medication. For example, a simple medication given by the doctor to support the child for fever is a useful measure. We should not allow the fever to go up too quickly because that would affect the brain. And taking simple measures such as warm water sponge bath also helps in reducing the fever and keeping the child comfortable. Do not ignore any fever, seek medical attention. To diagnose the reason or the cause for the fever will entail taking a detailed history, examining the child in detail and certain tests may be required in certain conditions. The treatment will also be specific as well as uh, supportive. The specific treatment will be depending on what is the cause of the fever. For example, if there is a particular typhoid bacterial infection or any other specific reason, then the doctor will prescribe antibiotics for that specific cause. Most other fevers will need supportive management, for example, sponge and antipyretic medication. Thank you for watching this video on fever. Please subscribe to all our videos regarding child health.